what is it what is it two degrees it's saturday 25th i think 25th of november let's have a look here 25th of november and it's new helmet day i got myself a new helmet the hjc i90 so this is the flip helmet so the front comes up so i want to try it out see what the wind's like i want to try out this new mic i bought one of these little PC mugs, it's like um, it's got like a flexible cable on it which bends and stays in place because my problem being is when I flip the helmet I can't have the microphone cable running into the helmet so I've had to come up with a microphone that will fit to the camera and go straight underneath into the chin part so I'm trying this PC cable out there's only some cheap nasty £4.99 job off Amazon but the little test I did so far the audio is quite good, it was better than my in-outlet microphone Right then, testing microphone new one, inside the helmet with the visor open inside the helmet with the visor closed I'm now going to unplug and plug in the standard microphone Right, that's the standard helmet microphone in, what I normally use. I'm going to unplug it again and put in the new microphone. But I want to see what it's like in the wind. What's it like for picking up wind noise? And it is Gerbing heated glove time. The heated gloves have had to come out. I've put all three layers in my jacket. So I've got the waterproof, the thermal, and the jacket bit and it's it's a bit bulky but I've only got a t-shirt on underneath so at least we will see how well it works in the cold right let's go and try this helmet out but I do like it a lot the colour scheme I got it for £159 off Mega Motorcycle Store cheapest I've seen Everyone else, it was like 230 quid. I was concerned with it being a flip front whether there'd be a bit too much weight at the front of the helmet, especially with the GoPro on. It's supposed to be good for wind noise. So let's see. Two degrees, and my legs are freezing. Comes with a pin lock got a drop down some visor which I've got to get used to because there's some visors here at the side I'm used to it being on the top well, I don't know how I'm going to manage that with these big chunky gloves on we'll see but mainly I just want to test this audio out the audio might be crap I might have to revert back two degrees as quick as that temperatures come down what was my sun visor I can't feel it oh there it is I've got to find out where the opening now is on this visor. Yeah, some visor's quite good. So I got rid of the Nolan helmet. Why well, had the Nolan helmet? I just couldn't get... I don't know what it was. I just couldn't get on with that helmet. And the thing I like with these sun visors is how far they come down. Some sun visors don't. But the helmet don't feel heavy at all. Actually, that's quite good. I'm not getting a lot of uh, I'm not getting a lot of wind in the helmet with the visor up, which might be a downside in the summer, because I can feel already the wind on my legs is bitter cold. I saw I can hear the engine, lovely. Of the bike and the wind noise is amazing there's no wind noise in the helmet I think it helps that I've got the tall screen as well but even with my shark helmet yeah so the reason I changed I loved my shark helmet it's the best helmet I've ever had um, but it was all all the lining was deteriorating in it the padding had gone soft and I'd had it um, six years so I thought it's time for a new one so in a shark, 
I was a large. I took a large. In my arrow, I've got an arrow helmet. I was a medium in the arrow. I was a large in the shark. I ordered a large in this helmet. And it wasn't too small. It fitted okay. The only problem I was having was it was hurting my eyebrow bone. The helmet was tight around the eyebrow. So the Mega Motorcycle Store, there's no... You could send it back free. You could either refund or send it back for an exchange. So I sent it back. I've ordered the XL and the XL's perfect. It's a little bit looser around the cheeks, but it fits around the top of the head. So I must not have an oval shaped head, I must have a round ball head. Like a basketball head. But this XL fits, fits just fine. Now Goose tried this on. Goose is normally a medium in shark. And although this was big on him, it wasn't too big. So I think Goose will either need a medium or he might even need a large. Because he's on about getting one of these HJCI90s. Yeah, that was my main concern. Now I was going to get this microphone cable to the camera while still being able to uh, flip the lid. But I think I've done it. It just depends on how the audio comes out. I might need to put another dead cat over the put two dead cats on the mic because with it being a PC mic I think with the PC mic it's used to the sensitivity is used to being further away from you not so close to your mouth so this might be a, too, a bit too much sensitive I'm looking forward to be able to use the flip in the summer especially if we pull up for a quick break when we do our summer tour because normally I've got to get my arm bit off get it all unplugged plug it back in well I've got to say the jacket's uh, doing its job because I've only got a t-shirt on there's no cold air getting in some of these roads still look a bit damp so I'm going to take it nice and easy legs are freezing Hands are lovely and warm. Gerbings have never let me down. My feet have just starting to get cold. So I think I'm going to have to have uh, my heated socks on soon. I'll tell you what, that, that flickering of that sunlight quite low through them trees. playing with me eyes. Well a lovely morning. Now that helmet actually is better. It's better than the shark for wind noise. I was expecting because it's a flip front and you've got kind of an opening at the side that you would get quite a lot of wind through it. Wind noise is brilliant. That's the best best helmet I've had for wind noise that is. I'm impressed with that. Yeah, there's no buffeting whatsoever. Yeah, so comfortable helmet that is, I'm happy with that. I like the colour scheme. Albie's got the i90, I tried his on when we went to Switzerland. And I tried it with a flip and I thought, ah, oh, that's a game changer. I can have a drink now without trying to get my hydration packs the tube off it under the under the chin guard. I just hope this microphone works because it's absolutely the perfect design how it works just to fold around the helmet and as it folds around it keeps the shape the cable does and because it's kind of reinforced 
you know the cable's not going to break when my last um, microphone my drift one had started to break up when we did our Lake Verney tour but I had had that microphone five years so it's, it stood its test right let's get some sun visor again sun visor is really nice actually it's got a nice tint to it and normally I would find on my shark one when I had just the sun visor down and the main visor open I would get a lot of a lot of whistling sound off the wind but even with the visor open on this I'm getting no I'm getting no wind noise inside the helmet I don't need earplugs with this helmet whatsoever I just want to try it here at national speed limit for it's for wind noise with the visor open oh my legs are freezing the only thing is my car goes quite far back now because of this mechanism where the front flips up so I'm kind of reaching quite far back but I'll get used to it yeah, it's not too heavy at all this makes a massive difference as soon as you whack a camera on the front of it but the only time I've noticed the weight is when I flip it up and the, the camera's up here and I can it does feel a bit top heavy the helmet does you can feel the helmet pulling down I'll try riding with the flip up see what it's like that would probably be as soon as I put the flip up I'm going to lose audio because my microphone's going to be up there so I might suddenly get a lot of wind noise picked up okay here we go where's my button there we go that'll be nice in the summer oh you can't hear me can you that'll be nice in the summer And obviously I've got my USB cable here, so I could just pull that out. Where before that was hard wired into the helmet. So every time I took the helmet off, I've got this long cable hanging down. Well at least now I can just unplug that and leave it in the tank bag. There we go. If the audio's worked, it is quite good that microphone staying if it's crap I need to come up with another another design I want to get the microphone inside the helmet and still be able to flip it up without a big wire hanging that's going to be the tricky bit I think I still might need a second dead cat on this mic I think it might be a bit sensitive sun is bright right there we go let's see how this turns out yeah I like it feels comfortable where's my car out Right then, till the next one, oosh!
That stadium price. Actually, I don't know if I've got the right angle on the GoPro. Whether it needs tilting back a bit more. That's yeah, nice. Cardo's back there. Yep, I'm happy with it. See you later. Ciao for now.